Oh, snap. It's another snap review from the family gamers. Well, it's nearly the 4th of July, so naturally you head to the American History Museum, but things aren't quite as they seem. Can you solve the mystery? This is a snap review for the Independence Incident. The Independence Incident is an 18 card mini escape room created by Jonathan Chaffer and published by Grand Gamers Guild. It took us, a gaming family, about 45 minutes to complete it. So The Independence Incident is the next game in the Holiday Hijink series, and it's similar to The Kringle Caper, which is the game that came before it. It was a Christmas-themed game, and it came out last holiday season. We previously reviewed that at FamilyGamers.com. We'll leave you to find it. The art in The Independence Incident is thematically similar to The Kringle Caper, no surprise, with Jonathan Chaffer and Josh Capel doing the art and the graphic design again. As with the Kringle Caper, the team did a great job using every single square centimeter of the cards to pack them full of information on all sides. Personally, I liked some of the graphics used in the Independence Incident a little bit better. I felt like they pulled me into the story a little bit more. I agree. I, you know. I liked this art just a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So, Anitra, let's talk about the mechanics in the Independence Incident. Like Jonathan said when he was on the Family Gamers podcast... There's so little material in this package, it's literally 18 cards and a sleeve. That's it. That some of the scaffolding of the game needs to come from an app. Grand Gamers Guild has a website that works like an app that you can log into from your mobile device or non-mobile device if you prefer. There's a QR code on the inside flap that you can use to get there quickly. Log in, then flip over card number one. Trust us when we say this, you're gonna need a pen and paper you might want a pen and paper for each person when you're playing this. You also will probably need some hints from the website, or when you encounter various puzzles, you may want some reference material on hand. Now, I'm not going to share what that is. Again, I'll let you find that out for yourself. There is a lot of reference materials on the website as well. Of course, they're going to give you much more references than you actually need to play the game. So, Anitra, what did we expect from the Independent Incident? Well, we really enjoyed the Kringle Caper, which was the first entry in the Holiday Hijink series. Um, check out the link to that in the description for this video. Mm -hmm. I was really excited for this one. It's right around July 4th. You've got your Independence Day colors on. And I have a lot more interest in American history than I do in, like, Christmas stories. So um, I was I was kind of ready for random U.S. history trivia, especially with our homeschool helper, Asher, who has been learning some American history. This also encouraged us to watch a movie that, uh, you know, maybe helps you take a look at Charlotte and see if the secret lies with her. For me, I expected a similar kind of puzzles to what we had seen in the Kringle Caper, and I expected there to be really clever card use, just like we had seen before. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about what surprised us in the Independence Incident. Well, I was surprised to find out that I actually found this one a little bit easier. If you look at the back, it says right here, difficulty three out of three. You found it easier? I thought it was a little bit harder. Well, I, I mean, maybe it was the theme. Like I said before, I really like the theme. Uh, so it just kind of worked better for me. I also felt like there was a noticeable quality difference between the two of them. To me, the Independence Incident had more interesting puzzles to it. The The knowledge you needed to bring to the puzzles was kind of more mechanical, uh, like systems that you needed to understand, instead of just trivia knowledge, which is almost kind of what you needed in some of the stuff in the Kringle Caper. But maybe, again, it, it was the theme, the fact that it was real history and not Christmas stories. Maybe that's what helped me along. Well, I felt like there should have been more trivia... <laughs> Sometimes I look too deeply for hidden meanings in what we were given. And there were several puzzles that, to be fair, our kids didn't understand at all until you and I figured them out and then explained them. We definitely recommend the Independence Incident for $10 for this package. Or $5 for the print and play. You get about an hour of entertainment for your family. So, Anitra, what do you think we'll rate the Independence Incident from Grand Gamers Guild? I think we should give it... Four and a half out of five fireworks. Okay. And that's the Independence Incident in, in a, a snap. snap.